Let's begin with that deal of the day. Cisco agreeing to acquire Splunk for $28 billion, $157 a share in cash. Both companies cite what they call complementary capabilities in AI and security. Splunk's Gary Steele is going to be part of Cisco's executive leadership team, reporting to chair and CEO Chuck Robbins. And both gentlemen are going to join us exclusively at 9.15 this morning in about 15 minutes, Jim. Yeah, look, I think this is a terrific deal, and I'll tell you why, because of what Cisco's tried to do for a long time is have a lot of uh, recurring revenue, okay? And Splunk is nothing but recurring revenue. Cisco has tried to be a major factor in security. Cybersecurity, we know, is incredibly important. Splunk will give them the opportunity. They had a smaller division that does cybersecurity. It's not really been that much of a winner, frankly. Uh, in the meantime, Gary Steele has taken this company, and David, you remember, Starboard was agitating about 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 Splunk. He came in, he fixed the company in, what, 17 months, and then prepared to be able to sell it. That was not what he wanted to do. He was actually going to come on made money. But he has done so much in a very short period of time that I think it makes tremendous sense for Cisco to strike right now. Uh, we can ask the guys, but I mean, there was, you know, uh, there were talks between these companies a year or two ago. Yes, there were. Well, some time Interesting. back, and yes. they didn't get a deal done then. I just wonder what changed. We'll obviously ask them, but right. do you have any sense? Well, I, look, I think that Gary Steele is a deal maker. He sold proof point when he thought it was right for Tomba Bravo. Uh, he's, he's a realist. They were doing terrifically. I think it was a uh, company always for sale. You name the price. And you know, one thing, Carl, but these guys, and they're going to be on. These are two of the most straight shooters I've ever met in business. Uh, Gary's a man of few words. You've got to be careful. I always come with 100 questions for Gary. Is that true? Yeah, because Gary says yes, no. You know, well, how do you think? Is How's the new uh, Microsoft Azure deal? Good. Oh. Okay, that's <laughs> Super good to excited. know going into the center. Yeah, got to yeah. know. And, and yeah, I, 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 I've loved them. I've loved them from when he came to Point, when Poop Point was doing badly, and he would tell you. And, uh, you know, Splunk was not, had totally lost his way. Uh, I had a Splunk T-shirt, and I just kind of, you know, put it aside. No dog named Splunk. But in the meantime, they've had this incredibly sticky group of customers and everybody swears by them. They have observability and they have terrific cybersecurity and they're on the edge, which is something that Cisco has done. And I think we're going to hear an amazing story. And in the end, you're going to say, I want to buy Cisco because now they have the annual recurring revenue that's basically subscription that is almost to 50 percent, which have been which have been Chuck's goal for a long time. They're 46.7 percent. So we will enjoy uh, uh, we enjoy meeting both of them together and uh both of them are really a match made in heaven when you try to figure out where Cisco needs to go in terms of growth. Um, and certainly one of the largest deals of the year, uh, without a doubt. And we talked about, you know, the fact that there has been some hope, some optimism when it comes to uh, M&A yes. starting, to, starting to percolate in both the fourth quarter, which we're not even quite in yet, and, and next year. Um, you know, I've heard this a number of times. This is the first true example of it, though, of a large deal. But this is a very large certainly deal. Certainly, even for those who are considering deals that might garner significant antitrust, or at least in this environment, uh, antitrust um, uh, uh, roadblocks, I'm hearing that, you know, CEOs are willing to consider things in a way that they might not have previously, even if they're going to take... Previously, ATVI, Microsoft Rect. And... and Importantly, Jim, it is as much about, all right, we think we can win, but it's going to take longer. And there's a willingness now to say, well, all right, 18 months is the, kind of the new 12 months, you know. Um, and I thought that, that, so that David, the could horizon. for a more active right. M&A environment, but obviously this deal itself also coming back from, you know, uh, previously at least having tried it. Right, and we know that, uh, that Chuck was one time in San Francisco, he's interested in data dog. He's always liked to be able to make an acquisition in this area. David, I think that the textbook... Bridge too far was Amgen Horizon, Horizon, where Lena Khan, I would go so far, some people say she made up the reason why to block that deal. I would not say that. Yeah, that was uh, quizzical, to yes. use a word that you enjoy. Yes. Uh, and Do you like the flag behind my head? And we, we did focus on that a lot. Oh, yeah, look at our that. Great, our great allies. And it is just funny because I just remember in 1974, right they were my head. Head. Yeah, I know. Well, it's just... I just pointed out because I think people will be looking at go and realize that the Vietnamese are here today. They are. It's in celebration of the great relationship we now have. Yeah.